We now have commercial rockets that can return after blasting off into space. So what's the big deal? In November 2015, Blue Origin, a company owned by Amazon's Jeff Bezos, released a video showing a launched rocket returning to the surface and landing upright. In December, Elon Musk's SpaceX showed a similar video of a Falcon 9 making a successful return landing after launch. The two rockets are very different. Blue Origin's launch system is called New Shepard, and it's meant to push spacecraft into suborbital altitudes, meaning it doesn't enter orbit around the Earth. The Falcon 9 rocket has two stages and will send spacecraft into orbit. The first stage is what returns to Earth. It travels to an altitude of about 124 miles, which is twice that of New Shepard, before returning. The first stage is reusable, while the second stage isn't. So, you'll take New Shepard if you want to get a glimpse of space and experience a little microgravity, but you'll use a Falcon 9 to send satellites, supplies, and crew into orbit. But why try to land the rockets at all? The main reason? is money. Let's say you buy a brand new car, you go on a vacation with the family, you drive across country to Wally World or whatever, but instead of driving the car back, you abandon it and take a flight home. That ends up being a pretty expensive road trip. So it is with space. If you look at the Saturn V rocket used for Apollo 4, the rocket itself cost $135 million in 1967. Adjusted for inflation, that's more than $959 million in today's cash. Now, not all rockets are as expensive as the Saturn V would be with today's price tag, but the point remains that getting to space is monstrously expensive. Reusable launch vehicles could help make a significant cut in that cost. So remember, returning a launch system to Earth and landing it safely isn't just an impressive feat of engineering, it's also financially responsible. That's all the space news I have for you right now. Remember to go to now.howstuffworks.com every day for news stories about science, technology, and other stuff of importance, like our year-end wrap-up on poop science. Yup, we wrote that. <laughs>